presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim and Kolo were reunited when the native boy was thrown into the same dungeon cell with his master. At a meeting of the staff officers of the Purple Triangle, Derek Bluger proposed to raise needed funds for financing the revolution by making Lynn Chalmers write a letter to her father asking for 10,000 pounds as a contribution to the cause, in return for which it was understood Lynn would be set free. Late that night, as a sentry stood watching a window in Bluger's castle quarters, a small metal tube was dropped at his feet. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. The Chinese sentry picks up the metal tube. Then, glancing around to make sure he is not observed, he makes his way inside the castle. Once inside, he silently goes to the door of the room from which the metal tube was thrown. There, he softly knocks at the door. Oh, it's you. Yes, Missy. What's the matter? Didn't you get the tube? Oh, yes, Missy. Then what's happened? Were you seen picking it up? No, Missy. Did you do what I told you to? No, Missy. Why not? Wasn't the man you were to give it to where he was supposed to be? I'm not knowing, Missy. I'm not looking, too. You didn't look for it? No, Missy. I come in here at once. But you agreed this afternoon yes, that you... Yes, Missy. You're quite right. I agree to give metal tube to man waiting at far end of sentry post. But that was this afternoon. Oh, I see. You're afraid you'll be caught. All right, coward, give me back the metal tube. I can get somebody else to do this little job for me. No, no, I will give it to man at end of sentry post. Then hurry down there at once. The man you're to contact may not wait. Why did you waste time coming up here? I not waste time, Missy. I come for money, you promise. Oh, afraid I wouldn't pay you. Very well, here's the ten dollars I said I'd give you. American dollar? Yes, of course, American dollars. You don't need to worry. They aren't counterfeit. American dollar, no good, Missy. Wants money in Chinese dollar. But that means 20 Chinese dollars. Yes, Missy. Raising the ante, are you? Wants money in Chinese dollar, Missy. Well, I won't give it to you, you double-crossing lemon paste. Hand over my metal tube. Missy, no give me money in Chinese dollar? I should say not. Then I give metal tube to most high superior. It's very important that this metal tube is delivered for me. Of course, you guessed that and decided to jack up your price. All right, you've got me in a spot. I'll pay you the 20 Chinese dollars. Here. Many, many thanks, Missy. We'll deliver metal tube as agreed. Then hurry. Yes, Missy, I hurry. Hold me up with threats, Willie. I'll fix him. Down in the dungeon cell, Jungle Jim and Kolo are discussing the situation in which they find themselves. What we do now, Tuan Jim? And that's what we've got to plan, Kolo. We're in a tougher spot here than I was when Shanghai Lil had me in that wicker-work guest house of hers back in Burawani. Yes, it was. Back there, I was able to look see all over her plantation from our cell. The Reverend and I were able to get out because while he worked, I stood guard. Then he stood guard while I worked. Kolo, look, look for you, Tuan. No, I know you would, old-timer, but it wouldn't do us any good. The Reverend and I were in a jail with a thatched roof. It was very easy to cut our way through. But, boy, we'd need dynamite to blast our way out of here. Where we get dynamite, Tuan Jim? We can't get any around here even if we wanted to, which we don't. You don't realize, Colo, that if we tried to blast this dungeon open, we'd blast ourselves into pieces with it. Colo, no light. What we do, Tuan? How we get out? The only way I can figure it, Colo, is to get out one at a time. Colo, no savvy, Tuan. Well, you told me Derek Bluger tried to bribe you to join his army, remember? Yes, Tuan. All right. You refused because you were loyal to me. Now... If we could make Bluger think you had turned against me and were willing to join him, he'd let you out. Savvy? Yes, it won. Kolu, savvy. When Bluger let you out... Well, that would have to be worked out. Later, perhaps, you could make him think that you wanted 
to torture me, to get even with me. Yes, he won. Then he'd let you come down here alone, see? Yes, he won. You see, Colo, the reason I want you out of here is so that you can be free to run around the camp and tell me how it's laid out and all about it. Yes, he won. Then we can plan my escape. And I hope how we can capture this Derek Bluger and take him back alive. Yes, he won. We fix. And it's just about time for that fat Oriental Lin Poo to make his round. Now, when he does, we'll start a fight. I'll pretend I'm good and sore at you and sock you. Yes, he won then you tell him you're not going to be on my side anymore. Savvy? Kolu savvy. And by that time, Lin Poo will have run up to see what's the matter. And you ask him to take you to Bluger. You want to join his army. Maybe he say no. Well, that's the chance we've got to take. If he says no, then we'll have to figure out something else. Here, he Lin Poo, Twan. Yeah, get that call. Here's I'm going to take a poke at you. This is going to hurt me as much as it does you, old timer. But I've got to do it. Why, you double-faced, two-timey monkey, you. You can't get away with that. I'll teach you. Take that. Hey, stop fighting. Oh, do you hear? Stop fighting. Now, what goes on here? Stop fighting, Bradley. Yen Sing, come here. Open the cell door, Yen Sing. Separate prisoner. Here, stop that. Hey, hey, why couldn't you mind your own business, you fat rice eater? This was a private fight. And as soon as you go, I'll finish it. Black man... What happened here? I tell White Juan, I no like be on him side. Stay here in jail. Want to be inside you, White Juan. No like. You bet I didn't. After all I've done for you, I picked you up in the jungle, clothed and fed you, educated you, and several times saved your miserable life. And this is the way you repay me. So, a black man wants to join Purple Triangle Army? Yes, it one. Yeah, the pupil has more sense than his teacher. Yeah, that's what you think. Yes, and more than that, I'm very sure of it. To have tried to make the black man a disciple of your misguided belief was, of course, uh, inevitably futile. Who says so? The wise Lo Tsi, he say, who is there who can make muddy water clear? But if allowed to remain undisturbed, it becomes clear of itself. <laughs> your countryman, our most high superior, Derek Bluger, has learned wisdom of saying... No, oh, has he? When black man first arrived, he refused to join Purple Triangle... Did Most High Superior try to argue or persuade? How do I know? He did not. He allowed black man opportunity here for meditation. <laughs> you see, Rizal. Yeah. Well, you can have this black boy. I don't want him. And I shouldn't think you'd want anybody that was once lined up against you. Pepper Triangle Armory is made up of those who have been converted from other beliefs. It does not matter what man was or thought. It only important he is converted to cause. Yeah. Well, how do you know Colo won't turn on you the way he has on me? Bring black man with us, Yen Sing. At once, General Info. Come, you. We do not know, Mr. Bradley, but we are prepared for him to prove disloyal one time. What? You're expecting Colo to double-cross you once? Not exactly expecting, but if he so desires, we are powerless uh, to prevent him from doing so. Is that not true? Well? However, we can be certain that there will be no second disloyal act. Oh, you can? How? The firing squad will assure us of that. Next morning, Derek Bluger calls a special staff meeting. As usual, Shanghai Lil and Lin Poo are among those present. Well, Lin Poo, what says Nibs calling us together for this morning? Uh, Shanghai Lil, that is not the way to speak of our most high superior. Oh, I apologize. This isn't quite the place to speak of Derek in such terms because of his idolizers. But just the same, it's the way. How can you speak so disrespectfully of one whom the men almost worship? I can answer that in the words of one of your ancestors, Lin Poo. The saying is, no image maker worships the gods. He knows what they are made of. Nevertheless, uh, you will modify your words when General Bruger arrives. It all depends on the mood I'm in. Oh, there's someone I want to see. I'll be back with you in a minute, Lin Fu. Very well, Shanghai. Sentry? Yes, Missy. Did you give that cube to that man as you agreed? Missy would like to know. Eh? I wouldn't ask if I didn't, would I? How much does Missy want to know? Another hold-up, eh? How much can I be sure you're telling the truth? Give me five more dollar. I prove I tell the truth. But you must give it right away. All right. Come out in the hall, away from this crowd. Here's five Chinese dollars. 
Now tell me what happened to that metal tube. At end of sentry post, I turn. I throw tube behind me. Man's voice say he got tube. Will fasten to pigeon's leg and let fly. You know what he was to do, all right. But how can I be sure that that conversation took place and that you did give him the tube? Look, Missy. Man give me this. Oh, a band from the pigeon's leg. Yes, yes, Missy. Missy, see, I do like she tells. You did the job, but your price was too high. Uh, what else, Missy, want? Stay outside this door for a minute. I'll be wanting you again. That meeting will come to order. Where's the gentleman's girl in, folks? She has been sent for our most high superior. Ah, good. Ah, uh, there you are, Lil. I was wondering what was keeping you. A little business which may be of interest to you, Derek. Yeah? You made a speech the first day I came here in which you made your soldiers swear allegiance to you. Yeah? On the penalty of death for treachery. Well? Do you really mean to execute any one of your men convicted of being a traitor? I most certainly do. You know someone who has proved false to the oath of allegiance? Yes. Who is it? Name the man. I'll show him to you. Come in here, Sentry. General Bluger wants you. Most high superior. Dang, I Lil, is this the man you accuse of treachery? Yes, he's betrayed you, Derek. You lie, Missy. Most high superior, Master White Missy, is traitor. She must... Search him, Derek. Lin Poe, search the Sentry. Take his rifle away from him. Oh, no, get that thing. Nothing at all. Nothing. The most high superior. The Sentry has 25 Chinese dollars in his pocket. White Missy, give me money. You bet I did, Sentry, to test you. That's my $25. Give it to me. You? What does this mean, Lil? It means something I've been trying to get through your head for some time. Your boys aren't as loyal as you think. Take him away, Yen See that the prisoner is executed at once. Ah, but most high... Keep quiet, traitor. Money was found on you, and Shanghai Lil gave it to you to test you. Take him away, Yen Sing. Come along, Sentry. you know I do this... Shut up, you fool. I told you the price was too high. Most high superior... Uh, here, girl, prisoner. Silence! What do you want with me now, Mr. Bluger? I suppose you're anxious to have this letter I've written to my father. No, that's just what I sent for you about. We won't need to ask your father for money just yet. What? You're not going to ask What do you mean, money? Derek? I thought you were stony broke. I've just received word from Chan Hu at Shanghai that he's raised $50,000 from sympathizers here and abroad. Wonderful. I'm most high superior. Wonderful. Uh, when will our great uprising take place? It has already started. Open that window, Lin Fu. Yes, most high superior. There goes our air squadron. All but one plane which we will use as our headquarters. When are we starting out, Derek? At once. Men, report to your companies. And stand by for orders. Most high superior. What is it, Lin Fu? One of the leaders has turned back and is landing. Engine trouble, most likely. But all planes were checked okay. Must be catching. What do you mean? All your warbirds have the pip. They're all turning back and landing. What? This couldn't be a mutiny, could it, Derek? Why has the air fleet turned back? Is this mutiny? The adventures you have just heard dramatized are pictured in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, the Big Comic Weekly, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's Judge Piffle, Skippy, Bringing Up Father, the Cats and Yammer Kids, Toots and Casper, Barney Google, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. Don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.